back, welcome back everyone to the Dwarven Campaign! It's Snow at Fort Chivo, and of course we've got Gimli! And they thought they could uh, attack Picante with their little stupid army. And I will be destroying this... Let's see here. Uh, 5 to 1 ratio, huh? That just makes them not come into the fight, that's funny. Um, nah, it doesn't do anything extra for us. As far as the ratio, but um, but I want to uh, do this uh, fight. I guess maybe we'll do it real fast. Um, I'm not gonna need our reinforcements, and we will just surround them. Hopefully, not get war charged. We'll see if we can't avoid that at all costs. But um, oh look, it's snowing. That's awesome. I love it. General's bodyguard. Alright, you guys take up flank here. You guys rock the left, hidden. You guys sit here in the middle, stout. There we go. Come on. I'm not even gonna move this guy. Not gonna be worthwhile. The damn archers. Alright. I've oh, got an answer to that, don't worry. It's charge! With Gimli. It'll be awesome. And hopefully these fools don't get us again. Last time, I don't think they really got a good charge, so I think it was effective. There we go. Look at the flanking maneuver prepared. Up and over, lads. Up and over. Let's go. Push right past. Come on. Charge forth, people. All right, you didn't make it. What the hell are you doing? Yeah, don't let them run away. Going right down the middle. Come on, I saw that. Get him! Don't even stop without those archers. Don't let them. No, no, he's running again. Uh, get him. Yeah, what are you? Really? Get him, get him, get him! Look how nah, get him! <laughs> oh. Yeah. Well, I wanted to fight that fast, so it's alright. We only lost 32! And hopefully, enough to wipe out this army? Please be enough to wipe this army out. I think that was better than the auto resolve. There could have been 15 injured from that. That come back. Numbers could be very, very, very good. Camp sack. Ooh, a little bit of cash from that. Alright. 
Alright, nice. So we'll take uh, you and you. Look at it, it's happy now. And actually, just everyone go inside. We'll make a little bit more money here. We'll figure this out next turn when we get some move. Oh, excuse me, some move points. We can move out. And everything else, we're okay. Let's see. This guy can move forward now. We can do a little, little ring around the rosy there. Even though he had an experience, I guess that's so oh well. I can always make another one with the experience here, no problem. Or even somebody with even more better quality. It's like something else back here, huh? So we need to think about getting the county port. Yes. That's right. I think dwarves would have developed some other crazy new tool to launch things, right? Alright, let's see about... Here, we can get some Dwarven Warriors, which would really be helpful. Although the two-turn thing is really a pain in the ass. But, uh... Let's see. I do know there is a discount for getting units over here, though. So look at our Dwarven Warrior was only 792. Is that how much saves over here? How much? Oh, 880. Yeah, so we're almost saving 100, 100 coin there, which is good. Here, just heard that the cat is in my lap going crazy wiggling his head but uh, we might actually just take three turns but we'll get some more dragon slayers oh the iron crossbowman we have not really been able to put to the task yet I can grab two of these this turn and then next turn I can go and grab that that will be very helpful Oh, that's cool. I can't grab two of them. My math sucks. Okay. This leaves me a little bit of money for the next turn, though. So I'm also on board. Uh, wow. I really kind of want to put you guys together, huh? But that's all right. It went epically quiet there for a moment. All right, everyone else moved forward. I negotiated with my diplomats already and I got nowhere tried to get a few bucks from people well actually that's I lie I got a hundred bucks from Eridor but that's okay so let's flip it on to turn 90 let's see what happens let's see what people are doing I did notice before last uh, rune put some about six or seven guys on a boat in that little lake over there so I'm not sure where they think they're gonna go but it wasn't enough to come and take their city back and they marched the rest of their armies actually back south and then west so it looks like they're having to deal with uh, the Dale people so that's good because that put you know keeps the pressure on two fronts for them they might also have Gundor to worry about. I'm not sure. See, there's the boat. Oh, boy. There it is. That's going to be an army, I bet. That'll be an army. Oh, you got off the boat now. Okay. Oh, shit. Here comes the reinforcements. All right. This thought it'd be interesting. Oh. Oh, come on. That's it? Maybe I shouldn't say that's it, but, I mean... We got the brewery intact, so this will be going up. That'll be good. Uh, we have no way of really getting them reinforcements at this point. Let's see here. You're really no good to me there, but I'm going to leave you for now. Like I said, no reinforcements to be had. Uh, the road's been completed. Uh, looks like we're making a little bit of money. Just a little bit. So you're a free upkeep. That would help out tremendously. Pushing you out. Oh shit. Do we have a location of the ring? Uh oh. You don't say. Is it a person or a place then, sir? 
Well, it's far, far away from Mordor. And the last time I saw it was all the way over here in Rune Territory. So very interesting that it's made its way over here. And I'm almost in a position to actually go do something about it. but And it would be really great to hit Shidon there because that is definitely a place that has low walls. And I will be able to use my Ballista and fire over the wall into them while they stand there in the center square. Plus I actually have some crossbows, so my ability to do some serious damage to them while they stand there will be heavy. Will I be able to fight it out completely with them not being able to surrender or run away or anything? I don't know, that's a lot of guys to fight. I mean, even for even for my dwarves. But right now we're holding the line, right? This bridge is key. There's no way I'm letting this army up and over the bridge and back to Gundabad. And I would know I can massacre them here on this bridge. There's no way that they will get across. I can stuff them for sure on the bridge with Halberd, Dwarven Axe. I mean, we should be able to uh, do the job there pretty damn good. Plus, with the Ballistas firing into him, I think that would be just downright devastating. So I guess my task would be to get reinforcements down here, which it looks like I can... Uh, Who do you want? probably do I don't there's nothing I can do with my assassin there I don't even know if you, could, you probably can't do anything with the spot you have to have I think a general to go and like, actually accomplish anything with the ring and even if I obtain the ring the chances that it gets stolen from me are very high and of course you know where I have to take the ring right so that's not exactly a task I want right now and uh, I would definitely give it off to Frodo Baggins. Uh, <laughs> so I would definitely just back away from that one and be like, you guys are going to have your own problems. I live the farthest away from Mordor, and I am not concerned right now. Actually, I, part of my region is pretty close. So the high, the high Elves probably have me beat on most regions being farthest away. But I don't know. Maybe Eredor, actually, since that's the biggest pocket. Whatever. I'm digressing. So... Uh, I have money. We probably should obtain something else that's going to produce money. Let's see. Town Hall here. That's not the biggest gain right there. Let's see. We did finally get the upgrade over here to Irox, so we're upgrading our mine. Council Chambers, we have no problems here. The market, though. Small increase uh, over here. We're another Tanner Brewery, Garrison Quarters. Yeah, somewhere else we need to work on some corruption. If I don't, if I recall correctly, 270. That's just gonna take off 20 brothel. Uh, not much happening there. All right, Basar Doom. 753. Now that's something. Uh, mining network. We need to save up cash just for more mining networks, huh? Okay. What about up here? Just the power. And we can't do anything at those places. So if I scan across the board over here, of course, the dance halls, we can't do anything. Rackyburg is still not in position, but getting close. Framsburg is also getting close, and Gundabad, we're moving in the right direction here, so maybe this is the best choice, putting in a blacksmith over here, so my recruitment of unit here would be better, it's going to definitely help my miners, what do you guys get, I don't even know, let's see, you guys get Dwarven Heavy Mail or Lamlar Scale, so this blacksmith would be putting in Dwarven Mail or Light Lamlar scale. Okay, so we'll have to go through an upgrade. But to get better units right from here in Gundabad, even from making Dane's Dale Halls stopping off here, this is my next path. Will be, you know, Goblin Town after we, of course. And it's just here. It's a massive jump point. I've got to take out these places and I'm going to go down the mountain. So this is good. This is good. Over here, what do we got? So we can move. I'm gonna stick you. That's a snow troll. Something to investigate. So what happened? 
I saw that coming. There was no way they were going to win this fight. So, of course, what I have to do, though, is send men back again to defend Ruskaveni because of this monkey. Unless we push forward on Angsul. Let's see. Me pushing on them might be the better choice. Let's see, what do we got? What do we got? I'd have to leave a couple of you. It'd be probably wise to put you guys together and leave the miner. My king. I saw it. All right, eighty percent's a little rough. I lord, march. I was bringing him for not that place. Hmm. Give me another miner. My king, move out. March down limit. Miners forward. <laughs> I've got a train of miners going. Might be the only way I can get this done. Let's see. You really need to be sent down. In fact, I need to take all of you down. It's just so nice having the free upkeep for another turn, huh? But I can't make it down there. Hmm. Alright, I think what I'm going to do is leave this for how it is set up now. Get my dwarf save here. And you guys are going to be just fine over here. Alright, because well, we're going to have to flip the turn again. And I think... Where did my... Hello? Tired of ordering your own forces about my hello? Let's talk to the captain. A proposition for us? Oh, they don't want an alliance. Okay. Do you guys want to give me some money? Because I'm poor. How about a hundred bucks? Yeah, we'll take it. It's too bad you don't want... To see we could reach you. I'm allied with, uh... Good day to you. Eridor. Why don't you guys want to be friendly? Why don't you want to be so friendly? Um, I'm going to try and make my way around and talk to Gundabad again, I guess, again. I don't know. Maybe. We will sell them something. I'll sell them the information to show them that, that they're almost about to be dead. Dead and murdered. Alright. These guys, this is hefty right here, isn't it? This is hefty. We should trade you out for miners here. I'm gonna trade you out for these dwarven wanderers. But then I can't, I need the warriors here. Probably not actually. We probably don't need the warriors here, huh? How come I can't get a miner for 20? Oh, two more turns still available. Ow. Ah, <sighs> okay. We're gonna have to make a move here at some point, uh, that's for sure. But right now, I think that's gonna do it. Let's. I already talked to these guys. They didn't really want to negotiate much. Let me go talk to Mordor again. Let's see what's happening. Okay. So that'll do it. That'll do it. And uh, I'm gonna flip. Flip turn? Right? see what happens. We'll see where everybody moves. But I think Gimli is going to get a chance to advance on Gundabad, which should put them in an awkward position. I shouldn't have to do this back and forth between Pitcarante and Ruskevene. They should hopefully focus on me there because I'll be butt up with the free people, my ally. So that will help out. I might be able to get some points with them as well. Oh, there goes the big army. What are they doing? All right, that's not a problem. We can back up to. Oh, that's not cool. Cracking me knuckles. We can definitely backtrack to go get those guys. I'm not concerned. Ho oh. ho. Join up. Yeah, no more move points. Okay. Hmm. We'll have to see about that. Wow, that's gonna be awkward. Let's see. How... I'm your son. I saw it. If you guys go. Ah. Here, that makes this happy. And you go here. And you go forward. So you're happy. <laughs> I like my train of men. 
And the gravel roads are constructed in Dane's halls. Beautiful. Now we're moving around here faster. So if they want to go this way. Cool. Ah, uh, so we'll actually have ourselves a good fight here. Good. I'll be able to move myself up on the top position here and attack them from hopefully a better position that they are in. But this will happen in the next part, of course. So thank you all for watching this next episode to our Dwarven campaign. I see the Gundabad army breaking here. I feel like I'm riding the crest of the wave right now. That's going to lead me to right over here and break them at Cardoom. And these will just be pickups along the way. I might even just have another army come through here. We'll see how this works. But I see them breaking. We're about to have an earthquake over here with Rune. So this is going to be a big situation. I might look to buy some uh, mercenaries here to bolster my lines. But otherwise, I think I'm pretty solid, especially since I'm going to be defending walls. So that is just, you know, tip top right there. Not big problem. But I guess our big fight here isn't going to bad. So stay tuned for the next part. Thank you all for watching. Of course, leave a thumbs up and comments at the bottom. And I'm Snowhood420. I will see you all next time.